Hey guys, and welcome to this video on recurrence relations. So here we want to prove t of n, which is equal to t of n divided by three, plus t of n divided by three, plus t of n divided by three, plus n is theta, or big theta, of n times log n. So what we're gonna do to solve this is use the master theorem. So here I have the master theorem in blue, in this blue square, and it states if t of n, our recurrence, is equal to a times t of n divided by b plus theta of n to the d, where a is greater than zero, b is greater than one, and d is greater than or equal to zero, then our recurrence t of n is theta of n to the d. If d is greater than log base b of a, it's theta n to the d times log n if d is equal to log base b of a. And then it's theta of n to the power of log base b of a if d is less than log base b of a. So from the first glance or at first look here, um, it doesn't look like our recurrence is in that form. So we're going to have to rewrite it to make it into that form a times t of n divided by b plus theta of n to the power of d. So let's get started. So we're going to rewrite t of n, and it's equal to t of n divided by 3 plus t of n divided by 3 plus t of n divided by 3 plus n. All right, let's rewrite this again. Now, if we imagine that t of n divided, t of n divided by 3 is just a function, which it really is just a function, then that means that we get t of n divided by three plus t of n divided by three, which is two n, I'm sorry, two times t of n divided by three plus t of n divided by three plus n. And we can do the same thing that we did there where we added these two together. We could add this and this t of n divided by three here to get three t of n divided by three plus n. Okay, now it's looking a lot more like our uh, recurrence up top here. Okay, so uh, we can see that we have our a value here. So we see that our a is equal to three. We see that our b value is three here. And then we see our d is what? Well. Here we have theta of n to the power of d. So what does it mean for a function to belong to big theta? Well, luckily our n here belongs to this set here. Our n belongs to theta of n. And our d value is here. So d is one. Okay. So now we have our three values. Um, let's go ahead and write what log base b of a is, or equal to. Log base b of a is equal to log of three of three, which is equal to one. So the case where our log base three of three is equal to d is here, because d is equal to one, and log base b of a is equal to one. So our recurrence runtime or um, uh, yeah the runtime in theta notation is n to the power of d times log of n so it's equal to theta of n to the d log n and again our d is just one so we can rewrite this with one and we can rewrite this again as just theta of n log in. So that's it. Thank you guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave likes, comments, questions. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and to become a supporter on Patreon. Thanks as always for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.